Good. Uh, again, very excited for our seniors. And, you know, so those guys play a lot to come out and get a W. Yeah, we still had you know, several glitches, but we're making some strides defensively until um, it's not perfect. Uh, a couple turnovers they got us. You know, one we give seven, when we take points off our first fumble of the year. It was unfortunate. Uh, you know, Steven had a good streak of some touchdown runs that went away today, but he was one of the guys we recognized after the game because he's been one of our better players that set a tone of being a great practice player and really competing and playing uh, at a high energy level. So, you know, he had a turnover and, and, and Quote lost his little streak of personal deal. You know, he's one behind the scenes, one of our one of our best team leaders. So got a lot of respect for him. But it's good to get a win. And uh, we'll kind of open up for questions. It's a tough win, it's good to get it's good to get one. Second week in a row, I guess the, the front front four was getting a lot of penetration, a lot of pressure. How important was that in terms of not having to maybe sell out to stop the run for Iowa defensively? Um, very uh, very uh, important, very critical. The um, you know, um, Coach Coach Eckler said it today. <coughs> Um, that you know our defense has changed because of Larry Black and Adam McClough going next Liger to three seniors and the way they compete and practice and their relentlessness and their effort and energy and uh, so it starts with the whole front but really starts inside with those three those not sliding our other couple players that play there our DNs are getting better but um, playing well in the deep front and again I got a lot of respect for Iowa's offensive line what they always do what they're about so you know I expect them to come in today and try to try to shove it down down us. You know, and just cram it, cram the run game like they do, and for our kids to physically <coughs> rise up and, and hang in there was, was was pretty strong. Did you like so, go back to um, going back to Kaufman at the end of the first half? Did you feel like he was better in the two minute offense? Or? No, I just thought you know Nate was just a little out of rhythm, whack. You know, early I, I didn't. Um, I just I, I felt early, and I, I thought I saw it early, but I, I thought early that uh, Cam just threw an early play off his back foot and. I think sometimes he's a little cautious because I think it's his nature. I think it's how he is. And as a quarterback, that's a great quality to have, but you also got to dare. And you got to push a little bit. And uh, uh, so I, I just thought he's a little tentative with the shot or just his body language, demeanor. Went with Nate. Nate was okay. He did have one critical mistake. Didn't yank him. Because I don't want those guys, they're not like playing on pins and needles. And it's not like you make a mistake, you're done. That's just a little bit of, of a feel. We don't even, like Coach Jones is asking today, who's going to start? Do you want to tell him? I didn't, so we didn't say anything to anybody. We just, they both kind of play. They both get equal reps. Um, they're both kind of our one. And um, I'm glad we got them both. And at the same time, I was very proud of, of the way uh, Cam came back in because he played a solid second half. And th that two-minute drive right before the first half to get some momentum was shooting because we had really struggled in the first half. Is there anything that you saw from Cam before looking at the film that was different in the way he approached the game after he came back in the second time? One more time, sorry. Uh, was there anything different the second time Cam Kaufman got in the game before looking at I, Well, yeah, and, and that's, that's a good point to say before take. I, my opinion early, uh, I thought he was a little tentative on one, one of his throws, and I just like, hey, we're not going to do that. His, his the, the two-minute drive, he was very assertive. He set his feet, the ball was out on time, he was cutting it, he was ripping it, a little shoulder nod one time with a touchdown to get the underneath coverage to kind of – bite on an underneath route to stick that corner around into Cody was a very aggressive play by him. So again, his, um, I don't know why, because he actually stood around as cold as it was, you could have got a little cold. But he came in with some good energy, and like I said, those two guys are got a long way to go, but they're two good players. Like, oh, there's a lot of teams in this league playing with their second team quarterbacks, and that's what we are. But those two guys are getting better. And that was a huge deal for, for Cam to do that. It was huge. What do you think about going in the second week? Well, uh, my, my, my thoughts are where we are is, one, we need to learn how to, to be a winning team tonight. Come in tomorrow and you know, you know, still get some good rest, put some good things in your body, and come out tomorrow and take care of your body tomorrow. Get a head start on maybe a little tape study on your own, get your body and your mind refreshed so you can have a good Monday. So to me, our whole gig is we're not far enough to look. You know, we have talked about controlling our destiny, and we're trying to make sure we realize you control it every day of your whole life. So your outlook, the way you go about your business, our business right now is we're a four and five football team, we're two and three in the Big Ten, and that's not very good. And we're going to keep working hard to get better. And that's and it's not coach speak. That's what those kids hear every second they're in here. We're working hard to get better, and we hope our best is coming because we need good teams and winning programs get better as you go. Not year to year, they get better during the season. 
they get better down the stretch. We're going to keep pushing these guys because we need to play. We need to play better. I mean, Wisconsin's awfully good, and we need to play better. We need to play better today than we did last week, and I think we did. I don't like the two turnovers offensively, but outside that, I think we've made some strides. We've got to keep making strides, and that's all we're going to do. That's all we're going to emphasize. We'll see if we can do it. In that vein, just what did it mean to take to take a win and build off of it to get all the you know the momentum you got after actually you know finishing <laughs> off a game last week and build on it and you know make I guess make another step with that. It was good because and and it's not again I don't think our kids are going to get quote big head by any means. Mm -hmm. But the, do you learn how to still come back and and be tough and work hard and prepare when you want again? Don't mm -hmm. lose sight of the the reason why you we were playing well coming short. Well, realize why we're playing well and keep working harder to get the result. Okay, now you got the got the result. Okay, do it again, keep working hard, and the result's going to repeat itself. So it's a little bit of the snowball mentality. You want to gain momentum as you're playing through the season, and we're, we're, we're emphasizing that the kids got to buy it, and the kids got to do the work. And that's why, again, it's not about to me next week. It's about tonight and tomorrow that we come back getting our bodies right that we can keep gaining momentum as we go. How, How difficult was, was the weather delay for you? Sorry? How difficult was the weather delay? And You know, um, I always thought, uh, Coach, I never heard Coach Deuce made a comment that it's always better when you're the home team in bad weather. It's a better facility, it's your place, you got all your stuff, and it's just a better deal. Um, I took advantage, we had this opportunity in spring game, weather delay. So they talked about how we had properly prepared and we had controlled the weather that day to purposely have the weather delay in spring, in spring game, and we prepared. So to me, <laughs> I, to me, I told them this morning that, that we could say it's going to be cold and weather's going to be an excuse. But we're not making excuses anymore. They're playing the same environment, and all that matters is the way we play. And we started talking about that at 9.30 this morning, first thing up, because I actually anticipated it was going to rain during the game. So I think the weather turned out as a positive, and we, we didn't talk, we're, we we're emphasizing worrying about what we control and keep getting ready to play. How important was Bolser tonight just in terms of, especially it felt like sometimes when the pocket was breaking down, he found ways to slip over. He, he did, and it was really a good job by, I think it was most of the time when it happened, it was also Cam extending the play. Yeah. Iowa structure plays a lot of match, match up man with their underneath coverage. So that being said, sometimes your, your guys don't get open real quick and protection breaks down, you've got to extend plays. So part of that wasn't just Ted, <laughs> but it was, it was the ability of Cam to extend the play when, when, and, and it wasn't like somebody missed the block. It's like they're playing their match man coverage. It takes a little time to get open. Protection breaks down. You got to extend the play. As the play got extended, I think their coverage broke down and Teddy happened to be a guy get open. It was, Teddy played great in the past game. What was his numbers? Had six catches for 82, which is pretty good. Uh, we got to keep him coming along in the block game because the better he blocks in a run game, the better player he is, but it was a good game for Ted. How much did Cody Latimer just grow up tonight, obviously, just with a huge a couple of huge plays for you guys? How much you see him? He's good except for the goal line play, we're supposed to run him off, and he didn't, and Steven got tackled. So because right. <laughs> <laughs> so, they were playing man, we were going to run him off, and Steve was going to score, and we didn't. But no, Cody, um, I thought a year ago we had something special with Cody, and I think last year with that injury kind of mm -hmm. got him again. I think he's got a lot of upside, and I don't think he's close to where he's going to be. And, the way we keep doing things, I think Kevin Johnson do a great job with him. I think Cody's been raised the right way with his mom. He's got, he's a humble kid. I think he'll keep working hard. I think he can be a really good player for us. A lot of big plays on defense, but that, the pick by by Marshall was huge. Mean, huge in the red zone. Huge. They had some points on us. They were ready to go up. That would have made it what 21-3 uh, if they make that play, I believe, because we scored that to make it 14-10, right? So it's either 14 nothing. I think it was 14-3 at that time. That's going to make it 21. We were, in a, we were in a blitz. They checked the play. We actually adjusted and checked ourselves. We had good communication. Antonio checked from man coverage to zone, got in the right place, and we were very fortunate that was a big play. Points off the board. Anything else? You talked earlier about, about not having these guys on Kaufman and Sudfeld on pins and needles. I guess what do you kind of try to keep in mind in terms of, I guess, their psychology whenever you make a change with these guys? I just guys? yell at them as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, I coach him. I coach him. I, I mean, Kevin Johns does, but I spend a great deal of time. And my deal is, you know, there's, there's, you have to play like a quarterback, and you have to compete like a quarterback. You have to sit in the film room like a quarterback. Everything you do, you're a quarterback 24/7, and it's, it's, it's one of the most unique positions. It's one of the most stressful positions because everything they, they do gets critiqued. It's on, it's, it's, it's on TV. It's, it's local. It's national. It's regional. It's blogged on. Blah blah blah. Everything they do. That being said, they have to be the most. We push them maybe harder than anyone. 
with what we do. And we're not negative on them. We're pretty direct on the standard they have to be. And that being said, I think they're consumed, which is working. Mm -hmm. and, I, and because that's all we're talking about. I mean, we're out there in warm-ups. So they set your feet, throw the ball, set your feet, throw the ball, set your feet, throw the ball. That's all we're talking about. Just those guys learning how to compete and work. And they've embraced it. And I'm telling you, if they come in, the biggest guy smiling high five at the scores was Nate Sudfeld. Mm -hmm. And the same deal went, 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 went camps there. So those are two good dudes. And we're going to get number five back, and he's going to be pretty good too. Okay. It's good. Thanks. Thanks. Players in the weight room.